Hello my dear students, in this video I am going to show you how we can create a table in MySQL. So let's start. In order to create a table, we must write create table. That's very simple. After that, just write the name for your table. Let's say I'm going to create a table to store the data of the students. So I have named it as student details. After that, start a parenthesis. That is this bracket. And next to these, you have to write the attributes along with their data types. So I'll press enter. And now we'll write student ID. That's going to be a var char data type. So I need to mention the size. After that, I'll put comma, then press enter, name, let's say varchar again. After that, age, I'll make it as an integer data type. Next, date of birth, which is going to be a date data type. After that, marks which is again going to be an integer data type and percentage which is going to be a decimal data type. Hence, we need to provide the size of the values. So, that's how we create a table in MySQL containing the names of attributes like this and beside it we must put its data type followed by a comma and after that, we have to write the name of the next attribute along with its data type and then just put a comma. So that's it. And when you are done creating with the uh, table, that is all the fields you have mentioned that you want to add in your table. So finally, just put an ending bracket because see here we started with one bracket. So we need to end it. Okay, so these uh, all the attributes contains within this parenthesis and finally in the end just terminate it using one semicolon. That's it. Just press enter and see it says query OK which means that the table is successfully created. You can check if the table is created or not and to see the tables we can type the command which is show tables. See tables in bytes coders which is the name of my database so it shows student underscore details hence the table has been successfully created. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments below and watch the next video to learn more about MySQL.